Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at HobbyFarms.com. They have an article, Four Ways to Use Your Broad Fork in Farm Work. So a broad fork is pictured here. It's sort of like a pitchfork, but much heavier duty. I like to use it to break up hard pan soils. I've also plowed some small parts of it. And sometimes I'll stick the tines right in the ground and then stick trees in there for cloning. And, you know, just collapse the soil right back in on it. Now they talk about aeration and deep tillage, and that's great. So if you have garden beds that are already established, you might want to broad fork them once a year to make sure there's no hard pan created, especially if you use a rototiller. Rototillers, of course, rotate, and as they rotate down, they actually compact the soil at the bottom, leaving a layer of compacted hard pan below that nice tilth of soil. So broad fork will help break that up and cause water to actually flow through the ground rather than just get stuck about six inches below the surface leading to root rot. So that's good for aeration and deep tillage, get that oxygen into the soil. Plowing, he talks about how he plowed an entire quarter acre with a broad fork once, and it is not easy. I, like I mentioned, have plowed a little bit with a broad fork just uh, for transplants and whatnot. That's number four on their list. Number three is harvesting. Now there are different types of broad forks and they actually make some specifically for harvesting. They aren't as heavy duty as the one pictured here. They usually have smaller tines and the tines are closer together. So picture yourself with a, a root crop, uh, potatoes or carrots. Carrots are great for this. You stick it in the ground, you pull it back and forth and the carrots will just come right up out of the ground, make it much easier to harvest. And then number four, planting. So you got a tree or some shrubs or some bulbs, something that requires a good amount of digging. Well, instead of just digging, you could get that broad fork out, loosen that soil. And that way, when you do plant that root ball into the dirt, there's room for those roots to grow and expand because the dirt around it has nice tilt. It's loose. It's arable. Or aerated, rather. Well, I will link to this article in the description if you want to read more about it, and if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.